how we did art while camping. So we arrived at the campsite and discovered that our tent site was at the top of this massive grass hill. Mm -hmm. The hill was absolutely massive. Yeah, it was so hard to walk up it. Especially if you're carrying stuff. So we grabbed the tent and set it up and had our camp chairs. Things were going good. Then we went back down to the car to get everything out of it that we still had in it, like the food and the clothes and stuff. And we discovered that it wouldn't unlock. The key fob wasn't working. So daddy swapped out the battery in the key fob and then we discovered that it wasn't the key fob after all it was in fact the entire car yes the entire car the battery had died for the entire car so ty drew us all concerned <laughs> the first night that we were there fortunately your grandpa is a mechanic and fortunately we were camping 20 minutes from his house so he was able to bring us a new battery and fix it at the campsite hang out at the campfire for a little bit that was awesome but we were camping at a lake. Had lots of beautiful trees. Duckies! We went on a couple of hikes. The cottonwood trees were exploding, so there was cotton drifting everywhere. Yeah. Summer snow! Yeah, blizzard. <laughs> Summer blizzard! There's a lot of trees. Trees! Bushes! Parts of the lake were pretty green. I wonder if that's always the case or if it was because it rained so much this year. It's pretty. Did you like the hikes? Yeah, I liked the vibe oh. of the hike places. The foresty. Yeah, it was so cool. I didn't know places like that were real and existed. Yeah, with all the trees that kind of bent over and made caves and... Yeah, and like the logs covered in moss and mushrooms. Yeah. Logs. And then there was a log that fell over and it kind of looked like a door and then there was mushrooms at the side. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine that being the door to a goblin's house. Yeah, that's definitely a goblin door. charcoal straight out of the fire pit. I drew a little charcoal burning and then a little tree with vines hanging off of it and then there's moss on it and leafy. What did you think of drawing with charcoal? It was so fun. 10 out of 10. Drawing with charcoal kind of feels wispy to me for some reason. So we went on a hike and we were looking for different things to inspire art and daddy made this little guy out of sticks he found and then we collected some other sticks and pine cones and a feather and some leaves and we set up a little still life and we all drew it from all the way around so we had all the different angles. So this is Tyler's. Simple. Understated. Clean lines. <laughs> As always, I painted, I used watercolor, and Daddy used a colored pencil. I'm not good at drawing inanimate objects, so it's the best that I could do. I think it turned out really cute. Everything. And Daddy's turned out really good, don't you think? Wow, yeah. it's so good. I really like all of it. Do you remember? So everything oh, yeah. kept trying to blow away and we had other leaves on there and they just didn't last. <laughs> And then you guys each drew an homage to your obsession with the campfire. So I did this animation, but I didn't know how to make it look like just looking up. So Ty taught me how to make a little goober. This, this guy. Yeah. And then I put it in the background with trees and put a campfire next to her. So it's cute and I like it. I like it too. She's adorable. Yeah, and vibrating. <laughs> and your fire turned out awesome. I did 
Kid, MK, May, and Red Sun from Lego Monkey Kid. The traffic light trio roasting marshmallows on Red Sun. Red Sun is not very happy about it. But he's letting them do it. Yeah. Such a pal. <laughs> I love how just happy and clueless May is. She's just enjoying her. She ha- does she wars. have like dragon bits? Yeah. But she doesn't usually when she's in her human form, right? I like that. I give May some dragon bits and also in the show, Macaque does not have six ears and I want him to have six ears because they literally say that he has six ears. So I give him six ears. Oh, you don't have to show me that. What was your favorite part about camping? Marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. Roasted marshmallows. Roasted marshmallows. Was that your favorite part too? Yeah. Once we got home, I brought home some sticks looking for inspiration to make a friend for Francois, the smiley snake that we made from a little curvy stick that we found on a hike last year. <laughs> He's a cutie, he deserves a buddy. So I chose this one, his name is Tay. He's gonna be making this face because he's in the shape of a V, like a V from BTS. Young. So I'm using Super Sculpey for the head. I ended up using Epoxy Sculpt for the tail because I wanted the tail to be strong. I built a little curve of a tail so that he would stand upright because that was one of the things that bummed me out about Francois was that he had to lay on his side unless you were holding him. I love working with Super Sculpey. It's just exactly the right amount of squish. And I just baked it straight on the stick with the epoxy on there and it was just fine. Wow. So then I got out the paints and I based him. I'm trying to blend the paint job into the stick. So I was mixing colors that kind of matched the stick so that it would look like I had carved him out of one piece when mm-hmm. clearly I did not. Yeah, I made it out of clay. I added a little bit of a black wash to get in the nooks and crannies and give the texture of the bark. And then I did some lighter brown dry brushing, added some blushy cheeks, darkened the inside of his mouth. And then Francois in the drawn version of Francois has the end grain of the wood on his head. And I really like it. So I gave Tay the end grain of the wood on his head too, the little swirl, and then gave him some shadows. And then he was a finished little buddy. And I went to go find Francois so that I could take pictures of them together and introduce them to each other. And Francois is not where I thought he was. So we're gonna have to find Francois and make the introductions some other time, but I think he's really cute. I like it. He's cute.